Good day, Collective. This is a general healing and ascension message for those whose first name starts with the letter N as in Nancy, or you could be dealing with someone whose first name starts with N as in Nancy. There's an energy that somebody wants to speak up, conversate about a conversation that was either heard and or had involving someone's significant other, but that significant other does have past attachments. Those past attachments causes vulnerabilities for all parties involved. They have to admit their challenges. Thief card in reverse. They have to be real with themselves to be real with the people around them. The people around them they're realizing during conversations, meetings, uh, networking groups, and things like that, they're realizing truths and have to reflect on those truths while trying to figure out solutions. The conversations that are being had is that nothing's undecided. They're wanting something to be undecided. And it's not. Somebody is imagining a solution and reflecting on a truth. And that's either you collective or somebody you're connected to, whether it's a friend, coworker, lover, child, relative, someone you have a connection with. So we're imagining solutions here. You could feel overwhelmed for problems that uh, don't appear to be you know, at need for an immediate solution. You may feel trapped by unpleasant circumstances over which you have no control. Basically, Ten of Wands energy. You have to look more deeply within to find creative solutions to your dilemma. Use your creative imagination to guide you out of present challenges and onto higher ground. Seven of Wands energy collective. So you all are in an energy of reflecting on truths and imagining solutions despite the uh, beef taking place, evidence and receipts. But some of these um, some of these receipts aren't as heartbreaking as people were gossiping and talking about it last like. Everyone's kind of in the hangman, like, mm, we didn't see what they saw. What about you? Two of Pentacles, hangman in reverse, right? The undecisiveness. But somebody done spoke up at a gathering of some sort, y'all. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. It was a, a networking event. Let's reflect on your truth room. Conversations, the tower, but in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody exaggerated the ending of a situation. Queen of Wands in reverse. Eight of Swords. Nine of Cups. Somebody's talking about a karmic female. Possibly getting locked up for a DUI. Or domestic disturbance while intoxicated. Maybe somebody's seen it in a dream. Yeah, Ten of Wands. Okay, so masculine energy is watching. I guess y'all waiting to find out what's coming in relationships and loves. A divorce collective. Hierophant in reverse. A divorce. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups. If somebody is pregnant, it could be by a third party. With the Seven of Pentacles, it was a setup, an investment, judgment. A masculine energy called judgment. Reflected on his truth. The devil card reflected on his truth. He has addictions and toxicities himself. Three of Pentacles in reverse. That's why he prefers to work alone. He's okay being in the Five of Pentacles. That's balance for him. He consider himself a uh, a nomad. 
but he practices some dark intuitive things that's not gonna change somebody is talking about trying to um imagine solutions it could be some relatives of this masculine energy masculines it's multiple masculines king of pentacles with the wheel of fortune in reverse some masculine energies have some gifts but it was given to them yeah page of wands it was given to them through satanic rituals individuals are having to reflect on that truth high priestess in reverse that's in their bloodline yeah collective y'all are being judged on what what you do those 24 hours out of the day okay At this time, somebody needs to walk away from a situation, but I feel like they're in deep regret because it was money involved with a feminine energy, a Pisces energy, a Pisces feminine. A Pisces feminine has been part of manipulating a low vibrational Pisces feminine that works for the uh, karmic masculine principality it's a secret but it's not um, has been attacking the high vibrational Pisces collective yes yeah, six of wands attacking them through social media Empress seven of wands Empress has been protecting her intuition and her intuitive gifts and intuitively knows three of wands page of cups ancestors is going to that pisces and messing their head up five of swords page of swords somebody's already losing it and people are talking about it just a second just a second just a second balance equal give and take six of pentacles You have the Knight of Swords. Someone's going to have a bold, quick idea. A solution. It involves a little bit of manipulation. This purpose, this the purpose of this, somebody wants to make a choice to communicate with someone. Imagine if solutions, someone refuses to wrap up a cycle, an unhealed cycle. Could be a masculine energy that currently does not have any um, good luck or fortune. No stability, is all the way burnt out. This person has children and a job, heavy workload. Someone's trying to come up with a quick idea to balance parenting and work life, personal life and work life, personal life and work life. Someone's trying to work on it. Someone's not. Two of Wands. You collective have to make a plan. You have to make a plan. Magician, you're your own creator. You can only imagine the solution that's best for you. Look at this energy over here. Starting with the Eight of Swords, ending with the Star card in reverse. Obviously, this energy over here is no longer part of your truth. Reflecting on your truth starts with a conversation, a gathering, and ends in the Seven of Pentacles in judgment. You are already being judged on a day-to-day -day basis of the things that you create with your positive energy and the truths that you speak clear communication and ideas seven of cups don't feel overwhelmed remember that everything that glitters is not gold so imagining these solutions those who first names start with the letter n or you're dealing with somebody you got some regrets here about this relationship. <laughs> Somebody has regrets. 
about bringing balance to a solution. They thought they were moving forward, walking away. I don't know that solution. They thought it was clear, but it wasn't. Somebody thought they had a solution. That's because they thought they knew your truths about you and your divine feminine and what y'all talk about telepathically. That's been exposed. Four of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Group of people, coven, group of friends, family, or whatever had what they thought was on your mind all the way jacked up and messed up. People have been reading your energy. That's not your energy, but their own. For a long time. At least for the last eight years, seven to eight years, S seven to 18 years, that's six of swords, that, that's movement level up. Individuals that are in their 60s right now are going through a collective. They dealing with heartbreak. They dealing with the fact that they are bitter. Male and females. Men that can't play along and stay up all night no more and be energy vampires. And just bitter feminine energies. They bitter and heartbroken. But they in their 60s. That's too old to be on some hurt people. Hurt people. You've hurt people long enough with the Knight of Pentacles. And your family agrees too. Hangman in reverse. He refused. She refused to see the higher perspective. They in the five of pentacles. Everything, a lot of chaos, a lot of triggers when it comes to financial stability, what someone's been through as a mother, as a guardian and all of this other stuff. The bottom line is that they are in the five of pentacles and refuse to see the bigger picture of that. You have the nine of pentacles. Y'all have isolated this energy using your intuition, better judgment, and your higher self. Your ancestors are going to bring you a nice surprise that you have to keep quiet about, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, collective. So that's the little collective message I have for y'all today. If your first name starts with the letter N as in Nancy, or if you're dealing with someone who first name starts with the letter N as in Nancy, reflect on your truth. Whatever you heard at this gathering or this party, you just need to be imagining solutions and admitting your vulnerabilities because you're not an energy vampire, but you're not some single karmic masculine and or feminine either. Okay. You are the co-creator with the universe collective. Remember, the universe works fast when you have fun. Having fun does not get you in spiritual jail. Don't let karmics that are depressed and reprobate get you wrapped up in their karma collective. Okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.